Welcome to Happiest Places Home, the interior design channel. Today, we're helping you get that luxe look for less simply by making your bed. The tips that I'm offering today are not about buying high-end, high thread count items, although they help a lot in comfort. We're just talking about looks alone and the simple things that you can do to get that complete high-end look the way that some multi-million dollar homeowners cannot or don't take the time to do. So as we get started, um, I'll let you know that we are talking about pillow placement, bed throws, different textures and layering, maybe even more than that. And I want to show you my own bed making technique at the end. Adding a layer to your bedding can just really up your game with getting that luxe look. It also can be really extra cozy. So there are different ways to do this. One is to do a comforter with a quilt folded, maybe uh, folded four ways or folded in half, or to do um, a quilt on the bottom and then folding over your duvet. Also getting all white bedding and doing either a blanket throw, which we'll get into, or putting um, just an extra uh, layer on top of it. This is a good example of the quilt and the duvet. So it can really just add a lot of personality as well. And getting different textures in there are important. And we'll talk more about that. But I love some of these looks and you can see that the bed just wouldn't look as good with just one of the things here. So it can be a really fun way to use things that you might happen to already have. Maybe you have a comforter for the guest room um, or one that you don't use that anymore, but you kept because you love it and see if you can coordinate the patterns. The last room had a nice variation of textures, and now we're talking about color, patterns, textures, and the inclusion of white. At the end of the video, we're talking about all white bedding and that hotel look, but that's not what we're talking about here. In a lot of expensive looking rooms, white is included in some format to vary the color. Um, and using wild patterns is in right now, but I believe that including a solid color with it does make it more palatable to my taste. Here's a great example of that. So this is a very popular pattern at the moment, a lot of florals, navy or green or yellow, and mixing it with the white bedding, I think just makes it a little bit more tasteful, and I hope you agree. As a wild and crazy example of textures, I used this because having the velvet and then the summery linen bedding seems like a no-no, but you can play around with it and have a lot of fun too. So, you know, to get the look, instead of spending money, you're using your winter bedding and your summer bedding and getting creative, that's all. Pillow placement can make or break your look, uh, whether it's the luxe look or not, but I wanted to show you some good examples. This was supposed to be the way that you make your bed going forward uh, as a standard created by um, hotels and restoration hardware, I think. But things have changed a little bit and we have so many variations that look very expensive. The obvious elements are the standard and the king. In higher end bedding, there's always an involvement of a Euro size pillow, which is a square but tall pillow like those and then we can use a bolster pillow which I think is a fabulous look and a lumbar is quite nice too and then of course throw pillows. Let's look at some nice examples of these. In this arrangement the euro size pillows are really doing wonders for this. You could also use a large throw of course. Now you're noticing the white bedding. That's not what we're talking about now. We're just talking about pillows. And in this example, if I were you to recreate it, I would definitely put two standard pillows behind because you'll want to sleep on those and then two king size pillows and then the colorful euro right there in the front. Do you see how everything's aligned so in such a lovely way? And then two lumbar completely lined up precisely. So that's how that looks. This is a very expensive set of bedding. Um, I think it's from Hor Chow. Um, one of the reasons it looked nice is it's picking up the colors in the painting there. 
Ignoring the ruffles, let's look at this pretty arrangement from Pottery Barn. So we have two euros in the background, and then we have two standard pillows in front of that in white, and then another pair of standard pillows in front of that in the solid color of the arrangement. So simple, so easy, but it looks great, and especially because they did include the white to break it all up. Here's a guest room done very tastefully by a designer. And in the background, you actually have just simply three standard pillows with excellent coverings to match the arrangement. This is look a little different than what I'm saying because it's shot at a wide angle, but that is three standards in the back. And then these are just throw pillows in the front and they're just tying in the colors of the room really well. So that's a good trick, tying in the art with the colors of your throw pillows. We do it in the living room, but we're not so used to carrying that um, objective into the bedroom. Let's go inside the Ritz-Carlton in Georgetown, DC, uh, to take a look at the simple inclusion of a lumbar pillow to have an impact. So you can line up your king size pillows, which you'll sleep on comfortably, and just throw a lumbar pillow in front, and it just looks like it's dressed. It does need something at the bottom there. But anyway, another way to do it is just to lay those same pillows down and prop the lumbar in front of it, which is that restoration hardware kind of look. But either way, and just simply getting a lumbar pillow in the bedroom, can make it look a little more designer. And lastly, about pillows. One of the most wonderful looks you can get is if you can get your hands on an extra, extra, extra wide lumbar pillow that's very short, um, not necessarily lean, but short. Not a body pillow, um, but this one that you're looking at is a great example of that. It just looks so excellent. To tuck or not to tuck? That is the question that you have to answer for yourself, actually. And I do have the most express and simple way of making your bed look tucked when you're not doing that much work to it. But first of all, let's just take a look at a duvet tucked with a quilt on top of it, plus all of the sheets. That seems like a lot of work and a lot of work to pull apart when it's time to go to sleep, but it is a nice, clean, fresh look. That was from Pottery Barn and so is this, and I've never seen a quilt tucked as firmly as this, but it does make that scallop look go away on this modern bed. So it depends on the vibe that you're going for in the bedroom. But I did wanna show you this. This is not my trick, but if you do have a very precise size of your duvet where it reaches um, the point in the bed that you would tuck perfectly, and it's very easy to do like this with a four poster, then that's so much less work. People calling something a bed throw is kind of new. Um, putting throw blankets or putting um, a blanket folded a particular way on a bed is something that people have done for a long time. Um, but I wanted to show you how naked this designer, this was done by a designer, this bed looks without the throw. Now look how these beds look just a little more cozy and luxurious with the throw. Now this particular look is what we've come to expect from a bed throw. Folded across the bottom, not quite touching the bottom, but this sideways, or I'm sorry, like diagonal look is the new look. I think I like the old one better, but we all get accustomed to the new trends, don't we? But anyway, here's a few examples of this diagonal toss of the uh, blanket. Hotel White puts a great divide between people. It's kind of like what they say about cilantro. You either love it or you hate it. I hate cilantro, by the way. Um, this is a good example of all white bedding done by an interior designer. And it does give you that beachy look and that's where this house is. Um, and I think it's very well done. And as a matter of fact, it's the Kayla bed that I showed you in my last video at the Pottery Barn outlet. And it looks lovely in this scenario. I like how they matched the blinds to the bed carrying the same technique to the kids' room. This is a beach house on the water, so it makes sense. Anyway, this is the specific hotel look where you have the piping and it never goes out of style. So if you do end up fi finding one at a really good price, I would get it because you could use it from years to come. And guests particularly love <laughs> that type of look in the bedroom. If you found this information a bit stifling 
one thing you can do if you want just a luxury bed, designer look, but you still want to have your personality, a great way to do that is what I do. And that is, these are my sheets, but I'm showing you the catalog version. Um, you can have a silly sheet under your beautiful bedding and just have a little giggle uh, when it's time to pull the bed down and enjoy that. You can also dress it up for the holiday. So anyway, we put holiday bedding on our bed like at different points throughout the year just to make it feel like Christmas. This is another sheet set that I own. And I don't own the following one, but I thought it gives you that flavor. Like, of course, you're not gonna have an entire bed dress like that, but um, a little whimsy uh, underneath the comforter is fantastic. And here are a couple more examples of some cute fun bedding. These I found at Anthropology. Um, so too much probably for on top of the bed completely, but nice um, as a sheet set. I'm going to show you my bedding and I'll ask you in advance to forgive the wrinkles. The three piece white set that you'll be looking at, I just purchased and took out of the package for this demonstration because I wanted to show you what a great deal you could get on bedding. I bought this at the supermarket Lidl and it's a three piece king set and it was $34.99. <laughs> um, when I saw that amount, I knew that I had to use it for this video. This is a concept that I came up with for my own home. It's not revolutionary, but we just really enjoy it. And that's to take two twin size quilts and roll them into bolsters to decorate the bed. But then when it's time to settle in and watch TV at night, but not quite time to go to bed, or maybe to bring your laptop up and get away from noise downstairs, um, you've got this really luxurious look on the bed, but you can flip that blanket open and just have um, a relaxing little cover for your feet or legs. Also, we like to keep the bed dressed until it's time to go to bed because our dog joins us on the bed. And the, the last time that her bottom dollar is on the bed, the bed sheets, the more sanitary it is, of course. Here is my fun trick for making the bed look tucked but putting absolutely no work into it. I mean, if I was getting photographs taken of my bedroom, I would tuck it all the way. Well, thank you for watching Happiest Places Home, the interior design channel. We put out videos every Saturday at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, so I hope you'll tune in next week. And if you haven't had a chance to subscribe, I wish you would. And if you found this video helpful in any way, please hit the thumbs up. See you next time.